Hello there, my name's Claire and this is Stitch M Sew. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Now today's video is a Friday Sews video and today I'm going to be talking to you all about what I've been sewing, uh, the knitting and stitching show that I went to last weekend and what I bought there and it's also been my birthday this week so I thought I would share with you all the things that I got for my birthday that were sewing related. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it will interest interest you and let's get cracking on what I've been making. Before I do I'd just like to say if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by and if you are a returning watcher or subscriber thank you so much for coming back time and time again. I really do appreciate that everybody who watches my videos who likes my videos, who comments and subscribes, it really does mean the world to me. So thank you so, so much. So what have I been up to this week in terms of making? Now, if you watched last week's video, you'll know that I was hoping to make the Helen's Closet uh, uh, Gilbert shirt or Gilbert top. And I went to cut that out of my fabric and I realised that I didn't have enough fabric. So I ordered uh, a little bit more of that fabric so hopefully <laughs> I shall be able to make that in if not this week next week uh, but certainly hopefully sometime this month if I can fit it in. I've had one of those weeks that hasn't quite gone to plan in the fact that I have managed to do some sewing and I have got some things to show you. Um, but I was hoping that I would squeeze a bit more sewing in this week. But one thing and another, my youngest hasn't been very well. Uh, my husband also hasn't been particularly well. And so, yeah, sewing has not happened quite as much as I would have liked. But hey ho, we roll with the punches. So the first thing that I sewed up this week was a t-shirt for my older son. Now, this particular fabric I bought from a D-stash from the lovely Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne. And she sent it out and the day that it arrived, because it had already been pre-washed, because she'd already made something out of this fabric, I was able to sew this up and the same day that it arrived, which I don't think I've ever done with a piece of fabric. <laughs> um, but I already had the pattern cut out because I've made this t-shirt many times before and so I sewed it up and the only thing I needed to do the next day was I got my son to try the t-shirt on because I basted the neckband on and I just wanted to make sure that it fitted it over his head because I'd made it out of the same fabric rather than using like a ribbing fabric and it was fine and so the next day I overlocked it and top stitched it down and I was able to use a oh, what do you call it Marif Mariflex thread on there so I've just been able to do a straight stitch which is the beauty of the na uh, the Marif Mariflex thread I find that really quite a tongue twister and then I've just used a little rosy cheeks made by mummy label in there as well because it looks cute plus it helps him to know what is the back and what is the front just like in a ready to wear t-shirt so thank you Tamlin for um de-stashing the fabric and keeping with the camouflage theme the next item that I sewed up was a dressing gown for my old son or a bathrobe depending on how you like to call it and this is a pattern from it's a free pattern and it's from a company called I think it's Little Kiwi Company I'm going to pop it along the um, bottom of the screen now this pattern sews up really easily I did it all on my overlocker apart from the top stitching at the bottom of the dressing gown and attaching the pockets so I mean obviously you don't need an overlocker to sew up this pattern but I do have one so obviously I used it came together really quickly the pattern instructions themselves are not particularly detailed so uh, I didn't find it an issue sewing up in fact I didn't really even refer to the instructions because it's like sewing up a jumper or a hoodie or whatever so I've sewn up quite a few of those in the past so it wasn't a problem um, but 
should this be your first foray into um, sewing up an item like this it might not be quite so simple because it doesn't hold your hand so this piece for instance that goes round the whole length and right round the hood it doesn't have a pattern piece for that you have to uh, just kind of cut it out yourself and I couldn't find anywhere the measurements of what that was supposed to be so I just did four inches I think and obviously then that's folded over and I cut it so that I knew that it was I've cut two strips of it there's a center seam at the top of the hood and I cut it so that it was a little bit longer than the actual dressing gown so I knew that wouldn't be an issue attaching it um, but other than that it was all very good uh, it doesn't on on the pattern piece it doesn't tell you where the pockets should go so I just got my son once I'd sewn up the dressing gown not necessarily the whole way but so it was enough for him to try it on to decide between us we decided where I was going to put these tab bits for the dressing gown um, belt and also where the patch pockets were going to go because they're not on the actual pattern pieces uh, I also the sleeves come up really really long it, it's got a cuff piece now technically I didn't need this cuff piece because the the pattern the sleeves were really long it they're still quite long but he quite likes that so what I did is because we wanted the cuffs on there I actually think it finished it off quite nicely is that I cut off probably the length of the the um, cuff itself I, I'd already cut off the sleeves and then I attached the cuff so uh, if you are a little bit tight on fabric you probably don't need to make the sleeves quite as long as they're shown in the pattern because I mean my son is tall and they were you know they were right da hanging down here they were ridiculously long so yeah they didn't need to be as long but he really likes this pa this dressing gown he asked me to sew this up for him he chose the fabric so yeah one that he's had a lot of input in and thankfully has worked out really well so yeah pleased with that one so the next thing to talk about is the knitting and stitching show uh, which was on at Alexandra Palace last weekend I'm sure you've all heard about it and seen a lot on social media about it already and other vloggers talking about it so I won't go into too much detail about it but I had the most fantastic time it was so lovely to finally meet up with the lovely Adele from Sofa Serenity and Crystal from my social thread. We, as you know, we've been talking for a really long time. We've done various collaboration things together. We ran a challenge together, but we've never actually met in person. So it was so brilliant to actually finally meet them. We got there quite early. We both, we all dr drove from our various different locations in the country and um, we sort of got there before it really kind of opened so we were able to have um, a, a coffee and things and our chat before we went in and it was just so nice to see them and you know be able to catch up and see each other in person and I think we all felt the same and the fact that it didn't feel like it was the first time we were meeting uh, because obviously we'd spoken so much before and you see into each other's lives just you know you, you get a bit more than just talking when you're you're watching people's vlogs and things so yeah just so lovely and another reason why the sewing community is just so amazing so we went into the knitting and stitching show and first of all you see all the winners of the festival of quilts and they were well, not the actual winners but the the makes that they made uh, I'll pop I think I took some photos so I'll pop those in as well and we and then you go into the halls and there's all these stalls and we were able to you know have a little look round um, we then went over to um, some of the sort of the big players if you like we we went and saw the sew over it girls that had a photo taken over there we went and saw tilly and the buttons which is brilliant and uh josie from fabric godmother um you know we saw people like from little rosy cheeks 
and Generates and um, Louise from Ethel and Joan and oh um, so many people we bumped into the lovely Hey So Georgie uh, obviously that's not her actual name that's her Instagram handle um, Georgie from Hey So Georgie and the lovely Yvette from Blossom Sandwich um, a vet and her husband run Stash Hub if you haven't um, seen it before it is a way of having an app or that you can sort of store your fabric on if you like and your patterns and then you can do pattern pairs and things it's brilliant if you haven't checked it out please do so um, so we walked around with them for a little while um, who else did we um, we went to Pigeon Wishes all sorts of different people it was just brilliant you know that was just great just being able to kind of talk to lots of lovely people in the sewing community a few people came over to see us that watch our channels which was just so lovely and if you did come over thank you so much it was just it's so nice to talk to people and just chatting just generally with people on uh, stores that are also there you know buying fabric and things because everybody is there that is like-minded and you can just strike up a conversation with anybody and you've got something in common to talk about so just that's probably what i loved about it the best um yeah it was really really lovely i have bought a few things from there i didn't go mad at all i bought um yeah just a few things and i thought i'd share those with you so the first thing that the three of us all bought and we both bought uh, the, sorry the three of us bought uh slightly different versions of the same thing if you like and that was the Estelle dress by Sew Over It that is their new pattern and it hadn't actually been launched it hadn't come out the day that we bought it so we would kind of got it before it had actually gone out online but I've now seen quite a lot of people that have made it up on Instagram it's so lovely um, and it's this jersey dress that has got this lovely um, tie detail and you can do it as a short sleeve a three-quarter length sleeve or a long sleeve and there's sort of two different skirt options one of more of a straight and one a kind of a slightly more flared with some splits in so yeah looking forward to sewing that up and we all went with slightly different um colors so i've gone with this teal jersey fabric because you will all know that i love this color um, Adele went with kind of a plummy sort of colour, I think it was, and um, Crystal went with a gorgeous uh, florally jersey fabric. So all of us kind of got something that was kind of right up our street. So looking forward to probably doing a little collab when we when we sew those up together. So I also bought just a couple of fat quarters of Liberty print because I just thought those would be really cute for sewing up some crafty type projects, probably for Christmas presents or something or birthday presents. Just nice to have in the stash uh, as some, you know, really gorgeous, really gorgeous print. So they're really lovely. I particularly like this, this one, really like that. It was very hard to decide, I have to say. Um, and then I bought the only other big other big piece of fabric that I bought the only other piece of fabric that I bought was this uh, rayon fabric now can anybody tell me the difference between a viscose and a rayon I know I probably could just look it up for myself is there a difference I think they're very similar properties um, and it's got a gorgeous handle I, this is a William Morris print I believe and it's a navy and sort of cream print and I just think it's gorgeous it feels beautiful I've got three meters of this and the idea behind buying this fabric was to sew up a is to sew up a lyra dress which is a Tilly and the Buttons pattern which I'm sure you're all aware of it's a pattern I've had for a really long time for some reason I've never quite got around to sewing it up and so I think this is the fabric to sew up with but I think I'm going to sew up a wearable twirl first of all in a slightly more stable fabric just so that I can not ruin a fabric that I'm really in love with and also sew up in a slightly more stable fabric to be in with just so that I can get those 
details down before I sew it up in this more fluidy fabric but really looking forward to sewing that up. So the other things that I bought were more what I would call kind of bits and bobs rather than fabric itself but obviously all sewing related and we went to the Little Rosy Cheek store and I bought three packs of labels. These were she was doing like an offer if you buy three so you know of course I had to take up on that. Um, this was a pack which are a, a joint collab thing that she did with um, the Bargello edit so those ones are very sweet. Um, Mummy made it because I use these ones the most probably and or made by Mummy sorry should I say and handmade ones and she also gave me a little extra for buying um, and under there it's got a cheeky little discount code as well so thank you so much for that that's really really kind um, I hadn't realized that that was there until um, I got home so that was a really nice little surprise also from little rosy cheeks I bought three packs of vintage buttons now I don't believe these are on her website as yet but I think there are plans for them to be there so keep your eye open um, so I bought three packs and these were a really reasonable price I, I can't quite remember I think there were three packs for six pounds which seemed really reasonable so I might have got that wrong I think they were though um, and so we've got sort of green dark green ones some creamy coloured ones and sort of a bluey greeny kind of colour and so yeah, I thought those were really reasonable. And we went to Ethel and Joan uh, store, lovely Louise. And I picked up this needle uh, minder, pin minder. I just have by my sewing machine, I can drop some pins on, you know, as and when as I'm using them. And I just thought that'd be really useful. It also would make a beautiful coaster, but I think it's too gorgeous to use as that. And obviously it has got a magnet in it is designed to be used as a needle minder and then the only other thing that I bought was some Microtex needles because I need some of those for a project that I'm doing that's a little bit boring and then I got a few little freebies I've got a pencil from Fabric Godmother which actually uh, Adele got but she already had one so she gave that to me because she's very sweet like that um, and I was speaking to Clive from Brotherfield Design who is the husband of Mark Francis who was um, on the sewing bee who's also got a pattern um, sewing pattern company which is so Mark Francis and they are also Juki ambassadors so <laughs> they, uh, Clive gave me um, some little freebies which is a lanyard and a seam ripper I love them I love a giveaway don't you <laughs> so those were all the things that I bought at the knitting and stitching so knitting and stitching show so next up are the things that I got for my birthday that were sewing related now I did have some money for my birthday some of which I've already spent I'd already spent at the knitting and stitching show and some that I got for my birthday uh, on my birthday itself which I've now since spent on fabric so <laughs> I'll show that to you so this is probably the biggest haul I've ever brought to you guys in one go but I haven't um, yeah I haven't they weren't necessarily all gifts that were given to me but they were all as a result of money that was given to me so bear with me and I will collect it all up first couple of things uh, were actually gifts um, from the lovely Adele and Crystal so I did actually get those at the knitting and stitch show they gave them to me there the first one is from the lovely Crystal and it was came in this box which is a Liberty from Liberty um, and the reason I've kept hold of it so far is it's got this lovely Liberty design on the inside which I thought was fantastic um, and then in this lovely little Liberty bag, uh, a gorgeous little note um, just saying, Dearest Claire, happy birthday. We hope you have a lovely and blessed day. Love from Crystal and her family. 
Well, that was really lovely. Thank you, Crystal. And then in inside were some gorgeous little items. First up was some yummy chocolate. So that's delicious. Who doesn't like chocolate? And then there were two gorgeous things from Liberty. Uh, the first thing was so a pair of little snips. Let's see if I can get into this. And it's on it in a little case here. Uh, some gorgeous snips. You can see I haven't used them yet. Um, and it's on a little uh, ribbony thing so that you don't lose them from your case, which I thought was quite cute. So those were very lovely. Thank you. And then this little package. Now I thought to myself, what on earth is this? I thought, well, well, maybe it's got some thread inside. So I, I had no clue what it was. Open it up and oh, guess what? It's a little tape measure. How? adorable is that and then there's a little button you can't really see it because it's but if you press that retracts one side is metric one side is imperial oh just i mean you could sit and play with that for hours well i could anyway <laughs> so thank you crystal so lovely uh yeah just gorgeous thank you so so much now whilst we were at the knitting and um, stitching show the lovely Adele said to me oh I've bought you something but it hasn't arrived yet I'll send it to you get it sent to you I said no worries not a problem it doesn't matter anyway she said oh, I have got your card and I'll give it to you later anyway a little bit later on in the day she um, she gave me a bag and inside it uh, I didn't open it into my birthday Adele <laughs> but inside was this gorgeous card I mean, nothing, nobody but a sewer would give a sewer this, would they? Or sewist this gorgeous little sewing machine on um, with these sort of jewelry bits on. Again, a lovely little message inside just saying, Happy birthday, Claire. Claire, hope you have a wonderful day full of sewing, gifts, and fun. Lots of love from Adele and her family. So that was gorgeous. And then inside, the present was two meters of this gorgeous viscose that I've been eyeing up at the sew over it stall. Um, let's take it out of the wrapper because it's probably you can't really see that. Sorry, Russell, Russell, Russell. So it's this gorgeous viscose. It's got some weight to it, which I really like with with a viscose. It's not I it means that it won't be too creasy. I and mean, it's this gorgeous green background with these pink on and I think this will make a beautiful shirt of some sort. Now if I like the Helen's Closet Gilbert shirt I think that I will make another one of those but we'll, we'll see. So thank you Adele, it's just beautiful. Just wrap myself up in, in it. So thank you ladies. You've spoilt me rotten. Thank you very, very much. What else did I get for my birthday? So I got this book, which is the uh, book from Cash Moret and Jenny uh, Rushmore from Cash Moret. And it's called Ahead of the Curve. And a good proportion of this, a good half, if not more than half of this book, I think up to about here, is all about fitting. And fitting for a curvy shape and obviously that's me so i thought this would be really great there are five patterns um i think this dress and this dress are actually the same pattern but and then you've got a second dress here you've got trousers and t-shirt which you can obviously show so is a long sleeve or short sleeve or three quarter length and then you've got a vest vest off top and yeah i i bought this well i didn't buy it i put it on the list if you like because of the fitting side of things now this is something i definitely would like to get into it's definitely going to be a learning curve it's going to be a long-term thing but i thought this was a really good start i've had a bit of a thumb through and so far so good i, I haven't by no means have i read all about things i don't know about everything yet it looks really great actually um 
so I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth sunk into it. The only thing I'd say that was a little bit disappointing about the book um, is that I know that the size range on her patterns now have been extended to um, not just serve the sort of the curvier larger sizes but also the people that perhaps are in the smaller sizes but also have perhaps have a larger bust because that's one of the great things about cashmere patterns is that they do have different cup sizes um, and of course that isn't just something that people that are perhaps a little bit on the larger side require but you know you do get smaller people that have got a larger bust size so the new um the newer patterns and i think she's gone back to extend at least some of the patterns in her previous range um have been extended and but unfortunately this book is from a uk size 16 up to a uk 36 so it doesn't encompass those smaller size ranges unfortunately maybe that'll be something she looks to do perhaps in her next book if she's going to do one but really really looking forward to getting my teeth into this one and hopefully it will be really really helpful Apologies if you can hear any background noise. Uh, my husband is bumbling around in the background. So I've also bought a few more bits of fabric with some money that I got for my birthday. The first bit of fabric that I've bought is a cotton fabric. I guess it must be a cotton uh, poplin fabric. And my thought behind this was to uh, sew up my wearable trial for the Lyra dress. So again, I've got a similar amount of fabric, three meters, I think, of this uh, fabric. I bought, just bought this in fabric land, so it was fairly inexpensive, and I think it will make a great wearable trial. It's in a fabric I like. I really like the fabric, so it will be something that I wear. But yeah, I wanted something that wasn't quite so precious to me as that viscose um, fabric or that round fabric that I bought for the knitting and stitching show. And whilst I was in fabric land, I've also picked up this uh, cord um, fabric. It is, again, it was fairly inexpensive, but it does have a little bit of stretch. Now, I, I'm not quite sure which way I'm going to go with this one. Now, I might try and make some trousers. I'm a bit scared about trousers. Um, or I have the Waves and Wild. I think it's the Penelope Pinafore that's on my Make 9, of which I haven't sewed up yet. And that's the ideal fabric for that is a fabric that has got a little bit of stretch. So that's possibility is what I might sew up in it or I might just not sew that pattern and not complete my make line. Actually there's a few things I haven't completed off my make line. Um, and yeah I'm not quite sure which way I'm going to jump with that one. If I'm honest with you I should probably go down the trousers route because I'm really really lacking in bottoms fabric you know in, in trousers skirts things that I can wear with tops that I've made so I should probably go down that route although obviously with a pinafore you could still wear your, t your tops underneath so not quite sure let me know what you think and then I also bought um, and this was from John Lewis so this was a little bit more expensive but not ridiculous I think it was £10 a metre this is some just some black stretch suiting fabric. Again, um, has it got some stretch? I'm sure it's supposed to be stretch. Yeah, there's a little bit of give. It's not massive, but there's a little bit of give um, there. Just to, again, to make up some trousers for work because I'm really working <laughs> on that in my wardrobe. I had a bit of a clear out. Um, probably sort of early summertime of my wardrobe and chucked out a, well 
or donated well, some of them I chucked out because they were just such bad shape a lot of my work were, my work wear um, in, in terms of trousers and things because they just seem better days and it <laughs> But it, it just got out of my mind and it's only now that we've got into sort of autumn weather I'm like looking in my wardrobe thinking I don't have anywhere thing to wear luckily I'm actually only in the office two days a week so it's not a huge issue but I do think making some work trousers would be the way forward so that's the plan with this one now what else did I get for my birthday? Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was this beautiful card that my mother-in-law made me. Now, she makes beautiful hand-painted cards um, and other artwork as well. She just does it sort of for friends and family, for her own personal joy, if you like. She doesn't sell her things, although she well and truly could, because look how beautiful that is. So it's all this bit's all cut out. Um, it's gorgeous. She's made us all so many beautiful cards over the years. We're so lucky. And I just thought this one warranted, this beautiful bouquet warranted showing you guys. So, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> now, the last thing, the last couple of things I've got to show you, I bought from the Fabric Revival. Now, whilst I was at the Knitting and Stitching show, I kept seeing boucle fabric now i would really like to make uh, a coat or a shacket or coat again, whatever you want to call them um out of some boucle fabric and i kept seeing things but i kept thinking oh they're a little bit on the pricey side I'm not sure i want to spend that much i'd already spent a reasonable amount of money um and then Adele said to me, why don't you look at the Fabric Revival? I'm sure they've got some boucle on there and I'm sure they've got some green boucle, which is basically what I've been looking at. So as soon as I got home from the um, knitting and stitching show, I went on to their website. And as it so happened, <laughs> I was very, very lucky because that she'd had an offer running of 30% off all fabrics that was due to run out that evening so I very quickly went on and ordered myself some of this boucle fabric and I also got half a meter of this fabric which is the fabric that I wanted to make my Helen's Closet uh, Gilbert shirt out of but I didn't have enough I actually ordered this then I went back to cut out the next day my Gilbert shirt and found that I didn't have enough fabric so I very quickly contacted the lovely Marie and said if I pay for some half a meter of this can you add it into my order so that I didn't have to pay postage she said that's fine she sent me a code so that I didn't ha it wouldn't uh, trigger the posted payment and she added it to my order so thank you Marie fantastic service and well uh, yeah I've got this it's so gorgeous I could just wrap myself up in it and go to bed quite frankly it's just gorgeous um i haven't decided on the pattern so any pattern ideas i would be very grateful for um but yeah i love it so much that's it that's the end of the story no <laughs> well it is the end of the story that is the um end of all my purchases so oh, I know it's quite a lot um I hope it hasn't appeared too sort of showy or sort of gross gluttonous in some sort of way um I don't I very rarely show a big fabric haul because I don't tend to buy fabrics in mass because I don't a I don't have the place to store it uh, B, I find if I've got too much fabric, I find it a little bit overwhelming. And C, I don't normally have lots of money to spend. But obviously, with it being my birthday, my family and friends have all been super generous. So thank you to them. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and thank you to you guys if you've got this far and you've watched me waffle on for how ever long this has gone on for it's a long one i do apologize so 
that's it folks thank you so much for joining me i really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please do give me a like if you haven't subscribed i'd love it if you would consider doing so oh and one more thing i'd like to say is thank you so much to the lovely rachel from the french teams who bought me coffee before on my um kofi account before i went to the knitting and stitching show and told me to treat myself to something as you can see rachel i have spent your money <laughs> so thank you so so much I really really appreciate it um and all the people that have bought me coffees before it is such it's so lovely of you to spend your hard-earned money on me so thank you so so much so i that really is it folks again thank you so so much for watching i know it's been a long one thank you for being patient with me so until next time take care happy sewing Bye-bye.